Today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how I did my pleated vent in one of my dresses. You guys were interested in how I did it, so let's go ahead and get right into it. This here is a sample of a pencil skirt. It's not my exact measurements. I just wing it with the measurements to give you an idea of what I would be doing. This So this would be your waist and down here is your hip. This would be your center back with allowance for your zipper. So I would be stitching on this line, which is one inch in. And this is the extra that you would need to make your pleats for your vent. So this is on the fold. It's on the fold right here. As you can see, this is on the fold and you want to go in five inches and up to your waist measurement. And then you want an inch seam allowance from this point to whatever your hip measurement is, plus your seam allowance, and also from your one inch line, whatever your waist measurement is to your seam, and your seam allowance, sorry. Uh, yeah, so what you can do is place your pattern on your fabric, and at the center back mark, you can add one inch. That will probably be easier if you're not drafting your skirt yourself. So you can go ahead and do that. Your center back line, your one inch seam allowance, and from that point, five inches. Make sure this is on the fold. It will be a lot easier when it comes to hemming. Then I will go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, so I went to my machine and I stitched on my center back line. Don't forget to leave your allowance for your zipper. So if it's eight inches or however long your zipper is, you start there, make sure to tack and come down here to about half inch lower than this cut line here and you tack there. The next thing I will be doing is opening the seam like here and ironing and making sure my center, my fold is lined up with that. Okay, so this is now stitched and ironed and this is the inside of your skirt or dress back. So this is where your zipper will go and this is what the back inside should look like. I've sewn it with black thread so you can see where I stitched. So you should have three inches from there to there and another three. So a total of six inches from there to there. If it's a little bit more than six inches, it's fine. You're going to lose it um, when you're making your pleats. It's going to come out. So that's okay if it's like six and a quarter. It doesn't matter. What we're going to do now is make our pleats. Okay, now we are going to start making our pleats. The first thing I do is continue this line, but it has to be in a basting stitch because you're going to take it out after anyway. So make sure your stitch is on the biggest size or if you're hand basting it and don't tack the ends. So we're going to run a basting stitch from there all the way to your hem and we're going to come back after. Now my basting stitch is in and the second line that I'm going to make is going to be two inches away from this line. So measure two inches this way and you're going to stitch another basting stitch from there all the way to your hem. My second basting stitch is in two inches this way. Now it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, 
you have to fold it like this and let this seam, this temporary seam that you make, line up with your center back seam. And we're going to iron that at the, at the ironing board. So now I have that ironed. Center back seam, your temporary stitch, and then your second temporary stitch. And this would be the underside. Now you need to make another temporary stitch two inches away from this line. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so my second temporary stitch is in and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did here you see you're making little pockets so you're going to have to take this i'm trying to videotape with one hand guys and fold it to here and this stitch this temporary stitch now needs to line up with the previous one here and the same here this is still your fold and that's that one is going to make your last pleat so what you can do is you fold this make sure your seam lines up with the other seam that's there and then when you're finished ironing that on this side and that side you can do the same thing here uh, open this and make sure your center fold is lined up with your center seam and you can iron that flat. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have all our pleats ironed in there. The next step is just to pull out your temporary stitches. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now our temporary stitches are out. So there is your pleats. The last thing you need to do is hold all your pleats together and run a stitch from your center back seam across and do the same on the other side across. That will keep your pleats in place. So go ahead and do that now. So I've just finished my stitching. I've stitched all the pleats together on this side and I did the same on that side. I would suggest if you're putting an invisible zipper in your garment, you should install that before we start this stitching here to make our pleated vent. But now we're done. And this is how it would look on the other side. You can make your vent as long as you desire. It could be eight inches, six inches, whatever you want plus your seam allowance your hem and half inch for the inside here you need half inch there but yeah this is your pleated vent i've always loved this and never figured out how to do it until a few weeks ago it came to me and you guys have been asking how i did it so this is how i did it you hem your garment as you would any other. Turn up your one inch or one and a half and hem like normal. And this is your pleated vent. Thank you for watching my little tutorial. Till next time. Bye.